Deciding what resolution to make your pixel art in is uh, kind of difficult sometimes, so hopefully I can clear it up a little bit today. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back. Uh, we're doing more pixel art today, and uh, I'm actually uh, in a 16 by 16 canvas right now, which is kind of small, but not exactly for pixel arting or whatnot. Um, so what, what we're going to do is I'm going to make up a nice, let me just close this real quick. I'm going to make up a nice little circle and we're going to use the same circle as the basis for our entire scene. It's going to be like this cool little emblem thingy, I guess. I don't know. Um, and we're going to go ahead and uh, turn on horizontal symmetry and vertical symmetry so I can get a nice easy circle without having to do a bunch of work. We'll just do that and just, yeah, like this. So 16 by 16, pretty small, but it definitely works for a specific style, maybe like uh, Enter the Gungeon or uh, Terraria, or, you know, smaller pixel art type of things uh, in that nature. So I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm just going to draw a little bit uh, with just some stuff, just some nice colors. We'll hit G to fill that in. Um, and I still have symmetry on, by the way. Uh, we'll just do some nice shading and some stuff. I don't know, I'll just make some nice little, you know, Viking-looking logo symbol thing, I guess. Um, but yeah, so... Smaller resolutions, like I said, are great for, for smaller games. So if you're going to be doing something like I said, Terraria or Enter the Gungeon or anything that's uh, super small like that, even uh, Minecraft, Minecraft's textures is are 16 by 16. Uh, so if you're going to be doing something for that, then that's definitely the way to go. Um, you have a lot of leeway, especially if you have a creative mind. You can go ahead and just get in here and just paint a lot of stuff. And what you're going to want to keep in mind when doing smaller uh, pixel arts is the, the detail. Um, because it's very difficult to get a lot of detail in a small area, obviously. So what you're going to have to rely on is shading and, um, and uh, colors. So not only will you have less space to work in, you have to be more uh, precise about the pixels that you put down and where you put them. So for instance, if I put a pixel here, then that completely changes the entire feeling of the entire thing. Uh, so you got you to gotta be careful, especially when making people or uh, animals or anything that's alive, something that's not just like a random, you know, object like this is. Uh, you really, really want to be careful because it's, it's very easy to kind of mess it up. Um, so I'll just go ahead and do something like that. And that's uh, that's pretty good for a 16 by 16. Right? Maybe it's like some kind of cool little Viking emblem. Maybe I'll grab the outer colors, make them not black because that's a pet peeve of mine. I got a lot of pet peeves, you know, guys. Uh, so we'll just... We'll just fill those in so they're not solid black. Um, there we go. All right, so uh, that's our 16 by 16. Now we can go ahead and go up to File, New, and then just create another one. We'll do 32 by 32, which is another, which is the next step up to most people. So this is literally uh, like three times that. So this is uh, this circle right here is what we just made. So now we have three more of those to work with. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. We'll turn on the uh, symmetry here. So we'll go across. Uh, what is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go over maybe three, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, things get getting more difficult now. We gotta pay attention more. This isn't gonna be a perfect circle. That's more like a weird looking rectangle-y thing. So let's do two, two, one, one. That's better. That's fine. It's good enough. Uh, just just to get the point across. This shouldn't be as flat on the edges. That's why. All right. So now we ha obviously we have a lot more room to work with than this right so now we can instantly add a little bit more detail i'm gonna grab that same base color i think it was this one i don't know what it was i think it was maybe that one yeah all right so we're gonna grab that same base color uh and we're just gonna do something similar not something exactly the same because that's gonna be kind of difficult to do but we'll do something similar so it was uh, like this and across um, now you can see i can add in a lot more detail as where i couldn't before like i mentioned so i can add in these little nice little um Maybe like, maybe like designs here. I don't know. We'll do some cool kind of stuff, and you can see how the the level of depth is already higher than it was before because we have more pixels to work with. So choosing, like I said, choosing the size you really want to work with just depends on what style you're going for. But more importantly, it just it it just it uh, it's determined by how much detail you really want or how much detail you really need. I see a lot of people they go overboard with detail, and you don't really need all that detail. And you can you can probably nix half of the detail that you've done, and it'll still be just as good, especially with a game like Minecraft or Terraria. I keep going back to those because they're the classics and they're very easy to replicate because they're very easy. Now, I'm not saying they don't take, you know, a lot of great work. That's not what I mean. 
uh, but they're very easy to do rather than, you know, do a full scale, you know, artistry over and over again, rather than like 16 by 16 pixels. So uh, the the gaming world in specific is very, very uh, easy to break into with doing art and stuff like that. Maybe not in big companies, but uh, doing it yourself is very, very easy now because a lot of people are more lenient on what they think looks good. For instance, I mean, a lot of people love pixel art games now, myself included. I love pixel art games. So you can go ahead and slap together some uh, some nice pixel art and uh, have a pretty, pretty good game. And there's a lot of games like that now. We got Stardew Valley. We got Undertale, you know. We got a lot of things. And then we have the um, the not necessarily perfect looking graphics like um, uh, Don't Starve. Don't Starve is great too. Uh, but you see it's not a very clean style. Let me get some in here because this is looking kind of bland in here. But you see how this is already, number one, taking longer than the previous design on top of it just looking more detailed and more kind of crazy. I'm going for a different kind of thing. This was more like an emblem type thing. This is kind of like, I don't know what this is. This is like a different like a different tribe or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this looks pretty cool too. I like this one a lot. Maybe we can even go for a little square in the center or maybe like this. Yeah, I think I'll get that better. And then we'll do that on the sides, but, but in a lighter color. Like I said, the color choices, even in this bigger uh, resolution, definitely make a difference and shading as well. So you see this area right here, it's kind of like a checkered pattern. I really don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna get rid of uh, these lighter edges in the middle here, cause I don't like those uh, very much. And I'm gonna replace that with some shading. So we'll, dra we'll drag it down a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll grab, maybe I'll grab a little bit of a lighter color, something like this. And I'll kind of go from the outside in like that. Maybe make a little M in the center there on both sides uh, like this. And uh, it's very easy. Like I said, it's very easy to overdo it. And it's uh, it's difficult to go back once you have. So I think uh, we're going to have to call it for this one because I don't want to I don't want to go too long on this one because we still I still want to do uh, maybe even two more. So you can see how you can get a lot more detail in there is, is the idea rather. So you spend a lot more time working on it and it'll look a lot better of course. You can go ahead and get a little bit more detail in the lines there and I think that'll be all she wrote for this one. All right, so uh, not as much shading. This one looks kind of flat compared to this one, uh, but that's fine. So we'll go ahead and move up once again. I'll do uh, 64 and then uh, now we're getting into bigger projects where you're most likely not going to be drawing this big, um, but that's okay because a lot of games nowadays have been doing really high scale uh, pixel art, which is pretty cool, actually, um, because uh, pixel art has a nice, a nice homey feel to it. You know, it has this great kind of uh, classic vibe to it. But I think I'm going to go for not a circle for this one because we're doing the same design too much and it's bugging me already. So I'll do something kind of strange for this. Um, maybe something like this and then we pull it together like that. Yeah, maybe like a square shield, I guess. I don't know. Round it off a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, but you can see already, just even with the outline, we have a lot more detail than we had before, uh, which could be a problem. Like I said, this is definitely a problem. You do not want to make a game like this if you're not going for it. If you're not going for this, you don't need it. Because all that's going to happen is you're going to have way too... First of all, you have way too much to animate if you're animating things. You have way too much to draw and design, and you're going to have a lot of wasted... Uh, space making this big giant thing over here um, but so for this I think what I'm doing the, the, what I should be doing I should I should go grab my tablet and draw this in myself um, instead of using the mouse which was which is what I'm doing but I'm not gonna do that because I don't feel like getting up <laughs> but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a really kind of maybe like gothic design for this one I guess I don't know maybe something kind of cool uh, maybe something you'd see in like um, haunted mansion or something i don't know um this is obviously much different than the, the previous design it kind of looks like a like a goth spider-man i don't know what's going on here but either way oh yeah it looks pretty sweet so we got the uh 16 which is obviously a different design we got the uh 32 which is kind of flat i don't really like that one and then we got this guy which looks kind of weird like oh this looks like the top of a house like if it's a top down pixel art, that's pretty sweet well, yeah, that's going to be it. I get so easily distracted. I'll see you in the next one. Um, but until then, bye-bye.